a double-edged sword because it can actually leave you with a whole um, a whole baggage of frustration, stress, unrealized um, dreams, low self-esteem. Hello, awesome people. My name is Tobias Seifo. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you why you overthink and ways you can actually stop it. First of all, as an overthinker, you should know that you are an extremely smart person because an overthinker can actually give you 101 possible outcomes to just one scenario. <laughs> That's mad, right? But then, in as much as overthinking can actually help you in many ways, okay but it's, it's just like a double-edged sword because it can actually leave you with a whole um a whole baggage of frustration stress unrealized um dreams low self-esteem and this is definitely what we do not want so first of all you need to understand why you actually have um, started overthinking in the first place so the first reason why you overthink or reason why you might be an overthinker is childhood experience okay we might some people tend to start these habits when um, as a kid they have this um, very scary experience maybe for example um, you have very strict parents who are very particular about your grades and then you find yourself always worrying about oh what do I have in my grades what do I have next what's my parents reaction how they're going to react to it and all so this actually makes you to develop this um, constant worry because it actually makes you keeps you in that moment of trying to figure out oh what kind of deep shit am I into next? The second reason we overthink is this constant need to be in control. As humans, we hate helplessness so much, especially when it comes to people we care about. So we do not realize that the ability to help others is so limited. So we kind of be in denial instead of confronting our helplessness. So it kind of gets you into this very overthinking mood, thinking of ways to help. And you think by thinking, you are helping so it kind of creates this illusion of control the third reason is need for certainty as humans we actually equate being certain about something to being confident so you actually want to predict every single outcome which leaves you very anxious about being uncertain and then we tend to pretend that something or some situations are actually um, more predictable than they actually are which leaves you in this um, over problem solving mode thereby making you to overthink endlessly the fourth reason is perfectionism this is not about being perfect it's about feeling perfect so perfectionists find it hard to move on from something that they feel is um, that makes them feel less perfect okay so they always tend to overthink about it as a distraction the fifth reason is overgeneralization okay so we tend to feel because um overthinking helps us in some areas of our lives like um school work then it's, uh, it's going to also help us in every other area of our life like when we have conflicts with loved ones or when we are grieving so we tend to like put it in every single area thereby making it a single habit the sixth reason is fear of conflict okay so some people feel that conflict is very dangerous so they tend to avoid it making them scared of it so just like every other phobia you think of ways to avoid it so this keeps you in this never ending loop of overthinking because definitely you're going to meet conflict almost every time of your life. So here are ways you can actually um, stop overthinking. The first one is identifying what triggers your overthinking. Just like every other problem you want to solve, identifying the root cause of the problem, you're already halfway towards solving the problem. So identify your overthinking trigger, then that is the first step to actually healing from overthinking or solving your overthinking problem. The second step is take charge of your story, okay? Most times, the story we tell ourselves about who we are makes a whole big difference. So instead of telling yourself, oh, I can't do anything about it, or oh, I can't, uh, that's just the way I am, which is very negative, why not try telling yourself something like, oh, I am very capable of doing anything 
I want to do or I'm very capable of controlling my emotions this is pos kind of these are positive things you should tell yourself and trust me it actually has a way of um, making you prepare yourself or move forward in this healing process okay the third one is live in the moment okay try to be in the moment instead of thinking about what could happen or what has happened or what could possibly go wrong think of the moment focus on what is right in front of you focus on what you can see what you can perceive what you can hear people around you who is talking to you that would keep your mind away from thinking too much so the next one is you should let go of the past holding on to the past or something that happened in the past can be so crippling and it leaves you stuck in your head and you miss out on a lot of opportunities and experiences and current happiness that you should be embracing so letting go of your past is a very good way of actually stopping your overthinking habits the next way you can actually stop overthinking is Practice making decisions, okay? Stop thinking it, don't overthink it, just make a decision. You can start by trying to make one decision a day to two decisions a day to three decisions a day. And one good thing about it is once you make that decision to do something, your brain and your whole being prompts you to start acting. So you find yourself trying to walk, act towards making that decision or making that decision come true than actually thinking it. So the key word here, guys, is just do it. Here is a quote I have for you that can actually help you to stop overthinking. You can make it a mantra. Read it out or recite it to yourself every morning during the day, anytime you find yourself trying to overthink. And here it is. Yesterday is gone, so learn from it and move forward living today is the only way you can get to tomorrow so start living today guys do not forget the keyword for stopping your overthinking habit is just do it don't think it do it if you have any question please drop it in the comment section below and i'll be so happy to answer you thank you so much for watching do not forget to click the like button share and also subscribe okay thank you so much guys see you in my next video bye for now